This is stop one on the Regina Cyclone self-guided walking tour. The Regina Cyclone of 1912 was Canada's deadliest tornado, with 28 dead and one-tenth of the city's population left homeless. This tour will lead you through locations in Regina's downtown, starting from the Hotel Saskatchewan and continuing north through the downtown before completing the tour at Victoria Park. Along the way, you will learn about landmarks, both past and present, that mark impacted locations affected by the cyclone's destructive power. The first building on our tour is the former residence of FN Dark, now the Hotel Saskatchewan, located at 2125 Victoria Avenue. The Hotel Saskatchewan, on the southwest corner of Victoria Avenue and Scarth Street, sits on land that was once the home of Francis Nicholson Dark. Regina's youngest mayor at the age of 35. Dark served multiple terms on city council and was a liberal member of parliament. Dark came to Regina from Charlottetown with his new bride in 1892. He started a small butcher business but soon expanded into cattle, swine and real estate, ultimately retiring from business at the young age of 44. He lived until he was 77 and was eventually buried in Regina's only above-ground mausoleum, the Dark Mausoleum, located at the Regina Cemetery. Dark sold his Victoria Avenue home to the Canadian Pacific Railway in the 1920s for construction of a railway hotel. During the Regina Cyclone of 1912, discussions about constructing a railway hotel were underway with a different railroad company, the Grand Trunk Pacific. Fans of Downton Abbey may recall that Lord Grantham's investment in the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway eventually collapsed the Grantham family fortunes when the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway went bankrupt in 1919. In 1913, the Grand Trunk Railway started construction on the Chateau Capel, which was to sit where the Royal Saskatchewan Museum now sits, on the corner of College Avenue and Albert Street. The foundation and steel struts were planted in the ground when the company went bust, and the decaying steel framework was abandoned for over ten years, until the metal was reused as the frame for the Hotel Saskatchewan, which began construction in 1927. The concrete foundation was left where it was, and the cost of demolishing it influenced the RSM's decision to build well back on the lot and at an angle from the street. The Hotel Saskatchewan was completed in just 11 months, opening in 1927. 1,000 men worked 24-hour shifts to pull off the rapid construction schedule. Much of the work was conducted during the winter, with temperatures hovering between minus 20 and minus 30 degrees Celsius. Materials were imported from all over Canada, with the building being fronted in Tyndall stone. Tyndall stone is a stone that features natural fossil deposits. It has been used heavily in Regina construction, most notably in the legislative buildings. If you look closely at the Hotel Saskatchewan's modernist classical facade, or railway hotel style as it is sometimes called, you can see many of these fossils in sharp detail. The Hotel Saskatchewan was considered to be the lap of luxury, with its own self-contained power and water. It even had an automated vegetable peeling machine. The vaulted, decorated and panelled ceilings and marble thresholds served as a backdrop for many of Regina's most exclusive events. Over the years, the property has hosted celebrities, royalty and politicians, including Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Lord Louis Mountbatten, Liberace and French President Francois Mitterrand, who flew to Regina on the Concorde. The Hotel Saskatchewan was placed on the Municipal Heritage Property List in 1993 and has been the site of major restoration over the years, allowing it to retain its historic flavour along with its opulent and lavish reputation. The property remains a favourite of the royal family and celebrity visitors as well as corporate clients and people who want to host an event to remember. The second building on our tour is the former home of Peter McCara now the Sask Power Building. It is located across Scarth Street, directly east of the Hotel Saskatchewan, at 2025 Victoria Avenue. It is the current home to the Sask Power Building. 
Regina was founded on a site selected not for its natural beauty, but for its proximity to land owned by the man in charge of selecting where it and the railway would go. Edgar Dudney, Lieutenant Governor of the Northwest Territories, was given carte blanche to select the location back in 1882, and out of sheer greed he picked a spot near land he owned, rather than a locale like the Capel Valley, where there would have been more trees, water, and natural shelter spots. The fledgling town of Regina owed its existence to Dudney and the railroad, but once the tracks were actually laid, it became much easier to sell as a hub for business and tourism. During his terms as mayor in 1906, 1911, and 1912, the job of selling Regina fell to Peter McCarra, Jr. Peter McCarra, Jr. came to Regina with his family from Edinburgh, establishing the financial business McCarra Brothers and Wallace. As with many prominent businessmen of the time, Peter McCarra took a turn on city council and as mayor. Unlike most mayors, his tenure came during the most interesting of times. He was mayor in 1906, when Regina became the capital city of the new province of Saskatchewan. It was 1906 that marked the start of Regina as a modern city, with paved sidewalks, waterworks, sewer extensions, tree planting, park development, street naming and house numbering. And it was Peter McCarra Jr. at the forefront of it all that year as the mayor. He laid the cornerstone for Regina's new city hall and oversaw construction of a new exhibition building. During his second term as mayor, McCarra oversaw the inauguration of a street railway system and drove car number two as the motorman. 7,400 people rode for free that day upon his suspension of the fees. And it was as mayor that Peter McCarra saw the worst natural disaster in Canadian history take place from the lawn of his house on the southeast corner of Victoria Avenue and Scarth Street. McCarra was entertaining members of the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway Company at his home on the day before Dominion Day, June 30, 1912. The day had been hot, sunny and cloudless, a beautiful blue sky over a beautiful Sunday afternoon. McCarra had been driving the GTP executives around town, showing them Regina's progress, trying to convince them to build a railroad hotel in the city. Railroad hotels brought tourists and were a sign that a small western town had become a city, a prominent place to stop, visit, or settle. Regina's business and political community was desperate to host one of these hotels, and McCarra was busily glad-handing and boostering, when a terrible whooshing noise came through the city's wealthiest residential area, up into the downtown core and out of the city via the bustling warehouse district. In a matter of minutes, Peter McCarra Jr. went from mayor of an up-and-coming city to mayor of the site of the most deadly tornado in Canadian history. Peter McCarra resided in his house on the corner of Victoria Avenue and Scarth Street until 1948. The house which had once been home to Colonel Hugh Richardson, the judge who tried Louis Riel, was eventually sold to make way for the Sask Power Building. The Sask Power Building started construction in 1962. The architect was Joseph Pettick, who also designed Regina's current city hall at 2476 Victoria Avenue. Pettick designed the building in an expressionist style influenced heavily by Brazilian modernism. A, cha a response to the challenge by Sask Power's then general manager, David Cass Beggs, to design something without sameness and ugliness that was not box-like. The end result was a Y-shaped building that featured an arcade and drive through on the bottom to solve some of the problems connected with the downtown core. Pettick also found he could fit more square footage of building into the smaller plot of land with the curvilinear style. The building had an open floor plan within, an art gallery on the top floor, and a 13th floor observation deck. Pettick seemed to be immune to Triskaidekaphobia, as his city hall building is another of the few office towers in Regina, with a 13th floor marked as such. The Sask Power Building, with its custom tile work in the lobby and custom made wheat colored brick, is one of Regina's most eye catching modernist designs. It was featured in the movie Dolan's Cadillac, starring Christian Slater. The next stop on our tour is the First Baptist Church, 
located at 2241 Victoria Avenue. You can find the City of Regina on Twitter and Facebook, or visit Regina.ca for more information about Regina, including more heritage and history content. Thank you.